so today we're going to be uh, putting on our beefed up hubs on our side by side. I don't know if you guys remember that video or not, but we're going to go over here to Harbor Freight and see if they got a floor jack. I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off and I need, I need a good floor jack. I'm just tired of working with that bottle jack and yeah, I want to be able to slide that thing out and pump up both sides at once and work on it safely um, without worrying about a, there's nothing wrong with a bottle jack, it's just not as safe. So um, we're going to hit up Harbor Freight over here and see what we can find for a decent cheap jack, but I want to get a jack that will serve me good even if I need to work on my truck or the wife's car or something. So, and again, a bottle jack kind of sucks. So we'll get over here and we'll see what they have to offer for a decent floor jack. Hopefully they got something good. And then we'll get back home and we'll get those hubs taken off because I'm having an alignment issue. I, I bent one hub last year. I bent it back, um, it was completely our fault. I bent it back and I'm having a hard time with the alignment. So I don't know if it's the hub or if it's a tire, like I did something to a tire or I don't know. So we're gonna do a tire rotation on it. We're gonna change out the hubs and then bearings in the front and let's, let's get that done. guys let's go in here and see what they may or may not have uh this store they've kind of been slacking a little bit um hey they got a spring black friday now huh? let's see what that's all about man kind of wanting this one here it's a two ton for 209 but they don't have any so i was like eh, maybe this one they don't have any this one's a little smaller but they don't have any but what they do have is this two and a half ton for the same price so it's kind of a no-brainer it doesn't look as pretty but it'll get the JLB done, right? So, where's that, right here. No, oh, they got two left. So, guess we'll go with this puppy. Um, the, I would've took one of these, cause look, three ton for cheaper. They don't have any left. And then they have the Pittsburgh ones, which they do have, but I'd rather have this aluminum one because it's, it's lighter. So we're gonna go ahead and get this jack. Not the one I wanted, but it'll do, I don't care. Let's see what else they got. Ooh, I can't go anywhere. All right, guys, let's get our 20% off coupon and get the heck out of here. Well, guys, we went in and got our jack, uh, not the jack that we came for, but we actually got a jack that was better than the one that we came for, and it was the same price. So they did have another jack that I would have uh, settled with, but they were actually out of it, and it was only uh, $99, but that's all right. I got one that's going to last, hopefully, hopefully will last. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't too bad a luck with Harbor Freight tools. I mean, you just got to be selective on what you buy. And I mean, 
they're all right, you know. I use some of their tools every day in the automotive uh, world and not really have any issues. So, I mean, some of them, yeah, but lifetime warranty, you know. All right, guys, let's get back to the house and get this unboxed. I want to say thank you to Roland over there at CF Moto Side Rider for sending us some stickers, guys. Go over there and check out his channel. Super awesome guy. He also has another channel called uh, North of Seven. I'll have it linked. I can't remember exactly. Something North of Seven. He does all kinds of maintenance videos and stuff over there. It's pretty cool. I'll, I'll have it like, yeah, right in here for you guys to check out both of his channels. So, all right, guys, get on over there. I'd say she's bad. <laughs> so guys, we got our uh, new hubs. We actually did a video on how to beef these up. So I beefed these up right there. We're just now getting them on our machine, guys. So I got two brand new bearings from cfmotousaparts.com, current RV. Use discount code CAP, all capital letters, red neck. It's one word, capital letters, and you get a 5% discount on anything above 50 and under $2,000. So I think that's super awesome. So we're going to uh, replace these, put these on my machine because I actually bent this here. I bent it back. I don't think there's an issue, but I think I know what my issue is with my alignment. So I have a really, really, really bad wheel bearing here. I mean, it's super bad actually. And I think it's throwing my alignment out and it, what it does, it makes me pull and it's kind of all over the place. So I believe it's that. And we got our hub actually taken off. It's super easy to do this guys. Just an axle nut here and two caliper bolts here and here. And then this slides right off. We'll just lay that there. And then for the tie rod end, just remove this tie rod end, remove that upper ball joint, remove that lower ball joint, and this will slide off of here. Now, I'm probably not going to transfer over the backing plate for the simple fact it just really holds mud in, but I don't know if I have an issue, then I will definitely transfer it over. But I don't think we're going to transfer it over in this case because I find a lot of mud packs up in here and just ends up eating up the rotor. Now these rotors aren't too bad. They do got some wear, but they're not too shabby. And as you guys can see, I run a one inch spacer and a one inch offset rim. So we're gonna go ahead and get this off and we'll get the new knuckle put on. So guys, here's our beefed up knuckle. We're just gonna go ahead and slip it on there. I like to uh, put it on the lower ball joint first. Just what I like to do. And then bring it up here to the top one. Wiggle it on there. Yeah, I really don't think I'm going to miss that um, dust shield or whatever they call it for the side by sides very much. All right, guys, got our beefed up knuckle on there with our new bearings from uh, Current RV, CFMotoUSAparts.com. Go ahead and get our brake caliper back on there get our axle nut back on there and there we go guys so we got beefed up knuckle now we just got to do a better alignment on it we got to do the other side. So guys, we're out here doing normal basic maintenance. This is basic maintenance stuff for your CF motos. This goes for the Z-Force, U-Force, Z-Force, all of the CF moto models, especially when you ride in mud and water. Water will wash out your bearing. I don't care what machine or brand of machine you have, Polaris, uh, Kawasaki, it doesn't matter. When you ride in the type of terrain that we ride, your bearings are the number one thing that take a beating. Um, water will get into them. 
even if you grease them enough water will wash out the grease even waterproof grease waterproof grease does help so i recommend greasing your bearings at least you know if you're a heavy rider once a month if you're a light rider or you ride light water like we do we ride light water so i grease mine every year so my bearings are from 2019 they're factory so they have every right to be worn out guys um you can't really complain about that can you uh ronnie's bearings they're from 2017 they're stock 2017 bearings that we we're just now replacing on his so bearings will last depending upon how you take care of them what style of riding you're doing and same with your bushings and all your wear components make sure you grease everything go over everything and you'll be golden so all right guys that's it for this short video i want to welcome you guys to come ride with us next month may 18th to the 22nd of 2022 that's may 18th to the 22nd of 2022 so next month we'll be riding at tecumseh trails in hemlock ohio hopefully we can see you there bring your cf motor Bring your CF Moto, your Polaris, it doesn't matter. It's a CF Moto ride, but bring whatever you want. And come ride with us. We are we don't care what you ride, do we, Ryan? Yeah. We don't care. We just we just like to have fun. So, bring you know. the golf cart. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to bring the golf cart. I'm working on the golf cart, getting it ready. It's going to go, and I'm going to see if I can send it through a couple mud holes or something. We're going to try and tear it up a little bit, aren't we, Ronnie? Yeah. I have to have Ronnie send it. He's lighter than me. It likes him. It romps with him on it. So, all right, guys. Hopefully, we can see you there in May and uh, come ride with us. Also, current RV discount code Capital Redneck. Definitely use that at checkout. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out and God bless. Keep the shiny side up and the rubber side down.